All right, so I'm going to be showing how to replace the touchpad or trackpad on this MacBook Air model A2337. So I already removed the bottom cover and cleaned out some dust as well as disconnected the battery. If you want to see a video on how to do that, I do have other videos showing that. All right, and also the different tools needed. Okay, so we're going to be removing the touchpad or trackpad here. So this one, Apple designed it in a way that makes it very difficult to remove because this cable is under here. So what we're going to do, I'm going to loosen this so I have a little bit more work wiggle room to work on it. Okay, and this one, we're going to have to use, I believe, a T3 or Torx 3 to remove. Um, if you're going to do this, you do want to disconnect the battery and then press and hold the power button for about 15 seconds to drain any residual power to make it safer to work on. You also want to keep all the screws in order because they are different size, shape, and lengths. Um, I put them flat side down like that on my desk in the pen I remove them, and that's how I know how to put them back exactly where I got it. All right, so we remove that metal plate. Then we have this connector. I'm going to use my fingernail and just flip that latch up. There's a little adhesive here, so you do want to kind of be careful. If you want, you can use a little isopropyl alcohol to get under there and to get that out. So what I do to get isopropyl alcohol in there, I use a little like syringe drip bottle kind of thing here and then I get this tool here and I'll just put a little bit on there and then that can allow me to get the isopropyl alcohol exactly where I want it and as you can see it's slowly sliding under and there we go okay so now we have access to here at least this model we can disconnect this cable from on top some models they actually put the cable underneath and it's very annoying you have to take the whole logic board out to get to it um, but anyways we'll zoom in here Got this piece we're gonna peel this back a little there's a little flip latch here I don't know if you can see it hopefully I can zoom in enough I use my fingernail and I flip that latch up once you flip that latch up you can go ahead and pull this out there's more adhesive here so be careful um, I might have to actually use this again actually I need a smaller tool so we're gonna try and use this and get under there and put a little more isopropyl alcohol on it okay so I'm gonna just put a little isopropyl alcohol on this tool sorry and then we'll get that under there and try and get that in there we go okay you don't want to use a crazy amount of isopropyl alcohol just enough to dissolve the adhesive okay all right then we should be able to pull that out and there we go now we have this cable loose um, they did spill some liquid on here so i'm kind of checking the other side um, and it looks good so anyways let's zoom out here now we got to remove all the screws holding this into place um, and I believe we need a T5 or Torx 5. Don't use the T3 or you'll strip out the screws. Okay, and then there's two screws on each corner and then there's one in the middle. Um, so yeah, nine screws total. Again, keep all those screws in order because they can be different size, shape, and length. Okay, so those. All right, and we'll just get all these screws out. Oh, I'm getting some messages. Give me a second. I need to mute my phone real quick here. All right. Last few screws. few more all right last screw there we go now that we got all the screws out we're going to carefully open up the macbook this is pretty straightforward okay carefully open it up be careful not to flip the touchpad or trackpad over and be careful with this wire you want to guide it out through the little hole okay so i'm going to slide it out this way and oh my god look at that that's terrible look at that so definitely the trackpad itself is the one. All right, we're gonna flip this latch here. Now that that's up, we should be able to pull this cable out. Oh, there's more adhesive, obviously. So let's go ahead now and get some more isopropyl alcohol under there. Okay, same thing. I just use this little thin tool here, get a drop on there, and that should be enough to slowly work our way under. Okay, you don't wanna rush it, just slowly go. Okay, just like this. And it's coming out. There we go. And then we can pull this cable out. 
All right, so there we go. We got the cable out and here's the old one. They have these little washers that we're gonna have to transfer over and most likely. Um, let's go ahead and get the replacement touchpad or truck pad. Okay. I'm all wrapped in bubble wrap. My worry was that the cable was damaged, but it looks like only the, um, the touchpad itself was bad. So we got a replacement one. They shipped it in this Ziploc baggie. That kind of makes it difficult to remove. But uh, here we go. Here's the replacement touchpad. Again, we do have to migrate over the little washers. So we're gonna get these out if we can. Oh, that one's kind of stuck. Okay, we're gonna flip this thing over. Be careful not to lose the washers. They do usually fall off really easily. There we go. Okay, we got two. Circle one, and we got this guy and the other one seem to be stuck probably because liquid went to that area, especially this one. But yeah, usually these come out super easily, so there we go. <clears throat> okay, we'll set aside the old broken one, and let's go ahead and put these washers onto the new one. Okay, it helps to kind of use like a magnet. Um, my screwdriver is a little magnetized. So I can actually use it to kind of pick it up. Oh, actually, the magnet's not strong enough there. So I might have to use another magnet. Okay, so I'll use like a little dedicated magnet. Grab that, stick that on. And we're gonna do that with all of them. Honestly, I don't think these little washers do much. So if you do lose them, um, your trackpad should work perfectly fine. But I like to try and keep it original as possible. So I try and put back all the little washers, okay? And then the last one is this circle that we got to kind of drop it into place. Okay, so we got all those little washers on. Next thing we're gonna do, we need to get the cable back in because you're not gonna be able to do it when it's um, installed into place. So we'll take the little cable back here and this side has the adhesive on it so that faces down. We're gonna get the cable in this way. Okay, and I try and keep the adhesive up so it doesn't touch the trackpad until we get the cable completely in. So make sure, push that cable in. Okay, and make sure it's in all the way. It's a little bit hard to tell. Um, if you had a picture uh, of how it was before, then you can kind of see better. But uh, here you can see, I don't have that luxury because I'm working on it, but there you can see, you can see a little of the gold sticking out. That's how it's supposed to be. All right, now we're gonna carefully open the screen back up. Be careful because the washers are on there. You don't wanna flip it over and lose all those. Okay, thread that through. Slide this over sideways. Carefully get this all lined up. All right, hold that into place. And now let's get back in these screws. You can put in the middle one first. All right, just like this. All right, and as you can see, it has some wobble and play to it. So we're gonna actually loosen, like loosely fit all these screws, okay? And then after we get the screws all loosely fit in there, um, we're going to use some tape to align the trackpad before we tighten them all the way down, okay? All right, so now that I got those three corner screws or those three in a row, we're gonna close that and then get the rest in. Again, we're just loosely fitting these first. Make sure everything is lined up. Okay, now that we got all of that, we can go ahead and click this down into the connector. Actually, let's go ahead and get this in first. Actually, it doesn't really matter. I think clicking this down might be easier. So just line it up. And make sure it's lined up before you push it down. It should drop into place there, and then you can click it down. Make sure it clicks down all the way. Okay, and then we have this touchpad thing. Sorry, I'm so far zoomed out. But there you go. Make sure that latch is up, and make sure the adhesive doesn't touch then use this tab to help pull it in. Same thing again, a little bit of the gold shows, that's normal, all right? Then you can take that down. You can stick all of this down. Let's zoom out, oops. 
if you want you can work your way down here keep that flat and then stick that down okay and now we're going to go ahead and get the other stuff aligned actually let's go ahead and put this actually no since we're going to need the screwdriver again let's just flip it over and take a look at this and you can see how much it wiggles we're going to have to use some tape or something to align that okay you don't need a strong tape i have this like old adhesive from a battery thing and i'm going to use that and you can see i can use that to kind of wiggle it around okay and then you just got to get it lined up best you can Maybe around there and around there and it might be a little too far actually to the left or to the right so yeah the trickiest part I mean you don't have to get it completely aligned as long as it's not touching the walls or the edge of the MacBook you should be okay but I like to try and get it as closely centered as possible just because I'm like that much of a perfectionist kind of all right so there we go okay this i feel it's like slightly over to the other side so that over more and stick that down okay now that it's aligned with the tape we're going to close that up and we're going to tighten all these screws back in it helps to kind of do one corner first and then do the other corner. Also, I'm not pushing down on the screw as I twist this, so that way it's not pushing the trackpad through. Okay, now we can do this corner, this corner. All right, and then we can go ahead and tighten all the rest down. And that's pretty much it. We just gotta plug the battery back in, make sure everything works. If this computer has, we're gonna do a PRAM and SMC reset, um, so that way it can reset any like settings that it's remembering from the old touchpad trackpad. And then we should be good to go. All right, just make sure, get all these screws in again. We're good. Okay, we're gonna switch back over to the T3 or Torx 3 screwdriver to get that little metal plate back on that holds the touchpad trackpad connector in place. Okay. I loosely fit that first so that way I can make sure to get both screws lined up. Tighten that down, tighten this down. All right, and let's get the battery connector back in and then close the lid and test it out. So the battery connector, um, I do show this on the other ones, but it has like a little foot hook thingy, okay? I don't know if you can see the shape from the video, but there's like a little foot boot shaped looking thing. So that has to actually hook into the slot. So you actually pull this forward, hook that in at an angle like this, okay? Then you pull that back and then push it down. And then this metal clip just clips down on top, all right, to engage. And I use my fingernail to flip that down. All right, anyways, let's go ahead and close this up. It's not gonna turn on until we plug it back in. Oops, sorry, I should zoom back out. Okay, so we got this all clipped down. Set that stuff aside. All right. So let's go ahead here. We got that. Let's zoom in a little more. Okay, we'll flip this over now. Pop this open. Take this gross tape stuff off. All right, and then let's go ahead now and plug the MacBook in and power it up. Okay, so plug it in and power button. And I feel it clicking. All right, so one thing I'm gonna see if it does a SMC reset, so I'm gonna push Control, Option, Shift on the left and the power button, and no, it doesn't. So I guess this one, we're just gonna have to stay with whatever it is. Um, I'm gonna try doing a PRAM reset, which is Command, Option, PNR, while the computer's restarting, or when you turn it on, and see if it does a PRAM reset. I'm not sure if it's going to. If it does, it should make the Apple boot chime, but it looks like it doesn't do it. So I think that's pretty much it. The MacBook is turning on and the touchpad does work. So that's pretty much all you need to see. All right, as you can see the touchpad, oh actually, can you see it? It's too dark, you can kinda, all right, and it clicks. So we should be good to go and that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, if it helped you out, please make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade or repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps.
and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. And if uh, you can't help out that way, it would help a lot if you can watch a few of my other videos, learn how to work on more things, maybe watch a few of my reviews. Um, but yeah, uh, if you watch these videos, you can work on your computers going forward, save a lot of money, or even fix them for other people. But uh, yeah, we're just going to get these last screws in. These are Pentalobe 1.2 or P5 screws, and we're pretty much good to go. All right, let's get all these back in, and then I'm going to give this back to my customer. They're actually waiting outside. Last three screws and we're good to go. Alright, thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Let's drop this spike.